Tsunamis, giant waves that race across the ocean at jetliner speeds, are among the most powerful and destructive natural events on Earth. But what causes these towering walls of water, and how can we prepare for them? To understand tsunamis, we first need to understand waves. Most ocean waves are caused by wind. They travel across the sea surface, rise a few meters at most, and pose little threat. Tsunamis are different. They are generated by sudden massive displacements of water, often triggered by geologic events far beneath the surface. The most common cause of tsunamis is underwater earthquakes, especially those that occur at subduction zones, where one tectonic plate is forced under another. When stress builds up along these boundaries, the plates can suddenly slip, causing a vertical displacement of the ocean floor. This abrupt motion pushes up the water column above, creating a series of waves that radiate outward. In deep water, tsunami waves may only be a few centimeters high, but they travel at speeds up to 800 kilometers per hour, fast enough to cross entire oceans in a matter of hours. As they approach shallow coastal waters, their speed decreases, but their height increases dramatically. The wave energy, once spread over a deep water column, is compressed, causing the wave to rise, sometimes to heights of 10 meters or more. Tsunamis can also be triggered by other geological events. Volcanic eruptions, especially the collapse of volcanic islands, can displace vast amounts of water. Landslides, either underwater or on coastal cliffs, can also generate tsunamis. In rare cases, large meteorite impacts into the ocean can cause waves with global effects. Unlike normal waves, a tsunami is not just a surface phenomenon. It involves the entire column of water from surface to seafloor. When it hits the coast, it doesn't come as a single wave, but as a series of surges that can last for hours. The first wave is not always the largest, and many people have lost their lives returning too soon after an initial wave. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami is one of the deadliest in recorded history. A magnitude 9.1 earthquake off the coast of Sumatra triggered a massive tsunami that struck Indonesia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, India, and even reached the east coast of Africa. Over 230,000 people lost their lives. Another major tsunami struck Japan in 2011. A magnitude 9.0 earthquake off the northeast coast triggered waves up to 40 meters high. The tsunami overwhelmed sea defenses, devastated entire towns, and caused a nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Because tsunamis can travel across entire ocean basins, early warning systems are crucial. In the Pacific and Indian Oceans, a network of seismic sensors, ocean buoys, and satellites monitor tectonic activity and water levels. When an undersea earthquake is detected, alerts are issued to potentially affected areas, giving people time to evacuate. Tsunami-prone regions also use tsunami evacuation maps, signage, and regular drills to prepare coastal populations. Vertical evacuation structures and seawalls can provide some protection, though no system is foolproof. It's important to recognize natural warning signs. If you're near the coast and feel a strong earthquake, or if the sea suddenly recedes far from shore, it's a clear signal to move inland or to higher ground immediately. Seconds count. Tsunamis are reminders of Earth's immense geologic power, but through science, monitoring, and preparedness, we can reduce their human toll. So the next time you hear of an undersea earthquake, remember, it could be the start of a wave that travels thousands of kilometers, reshaping coastlines and lives in its path.